Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh the final on my '65 uh, Plymouth Belvedere uh, from Mobius. Uh, as you saw in the last video uh, with the buddy build that I did with uh, Mr. Mini Dreams, uh, uh, Nick Sandon, and uh, Clifton Smith. Uh, so uh, pretty much, like I said in the previous video, this is. Um, you know, I went a different route with the original plans on the car. Um, you know, I, I just, uh, I couldn't find myself to rush that uh, original build that I want to do because I wanted to open the trunk. I wanted to hinge, you know, hinge the trunk and the hood and, and put extra details in it. So, uh, it was nothing that could have been rushed. And uh, so I decided to go a more simpler route. Uh, so um, this is what I came up with. So uh, this is, um, to me, this is going to like tr a, a tribute bill to, you know, the late 60s, early 70s uh, Mopars with, you know, the vibrant colors and the, and the billboards and, and, you know, and, you know, when they, they were first, um, you know, they were, uh, the, the muscle car era where, where they were most popular in my book anyway. And, uh, so the, uh, you know, so I decided to, uh, to build this car this way, you know, just to show, uh, tribute for those cars. So, um, I went with, um, uh, Panther Pink Lacquer. Uh, spray can right out of uh, the spray can from Model Master, and uh, it laid down real nice and smooth. And um, you know, I had no issues at, at the beginning with uh, shooting the paint, so I, I went and did that. And uh, I use uh, the my trusty uh, Tamiya uh, clear uh, right out the uh, can as well. So um, that that uh, worked out really good. And, um, you know, so I did that and then I decided, uh, to, you know, paint the back stripes. So, um, first I had to find some decals that, that, you know, could have fit, uh, the theme. So I found these, um, decals, um, on eBay, uh, for, uh, I forgot the name. I think they're fireworks, the name of the decals. But, uh, you know, they had different ones for all, all those uh, Mopar muscle cars. So, um, I found those Hemi decals. So, I said, you know what? I'm going to throw a Hemi in there. Even though this car came with a 426 Max, which um, I figured I, I'd throw a Hemi in there, you know, to continue with the theme. So, what I did was I... Uh, I, I I got the decals. I made, I painted down the black stripe in the back, um, which was pretty, you know, it was a little tedious, but I'm pretty happy how it came out in the back, and you know, wrapped around, and um, I also even blacked out the uh, the back uh, uh, the back panel, and I put a a, a Hemi. Uh, License plate in the back from another kit. So. That's how that looks. Um, the wheels are Steven Zimmerman wheels. That I got a, a long time ago. Then I've been dying to you know use them on a Mopar. So um, you know after trying so many wheels. Uh, these fit the, uh, theme, the theme that I was going. So um, I, I painted them silver. Um, on the center caps, I used the Molotov, and then I blackwashed the lugs. Um, I even uh, put valve stems in them. I put valve stems uh, on on the on the wheels. So did that. Um, I blacked out the hood, just you know to f uh, continue the theme. Um, blacked out the the grill. You know, just kind of wanted a car to look mean. Um, the only thing I didn't do to this car that I didn't finish were I didn't put these lights here or, or the wipers. 
um but but it's a race car so doesn't really need wipers <laughs> but I, I i'm gonna put them i'm gonna put them on i i just uh they're they're getting the chrome i just didn't like the chrome on them so i'll probably uh paint them satin black uh to follow the theme so uh you know just to give you a once over around in the outside and um I'm pretty happy uh, with the stance. Um, uh, this uh, this car is is difficult to uh, get lowered in the front, so I had to do a lot of uh, uh, a lot of modifications to get it uh, to sit that way uh, uh, for it to look correct. And so that's that. So that's that so uh you know in the interior um what i did was um i i went um black with the interior and um you know uh stock front seats uh pretty much stock uh just like they would uh back in in those days uh these cars were all business uh right out of the right out of the dealer so um what I did use, I, I did use a donor car for some parts on this. Uh, being that I needed a, a Hemi, um, I went and used the uh, the Hemi out of the Dart, the uh, 68 Dart. So I used the Hemi uh, to put in this car. And I also used the roll cage that goes on that car. And I modified it to fit here. Um, also on the back seats, um, some of these Plymouths, um, you know, they were super stock. They, they had a, like a seat delete. And, um, so I modified mine to look like a seat delete. So it won't, it looks like it doesn't have a, uh, a back seat, but, uh, you, you'll see, I, I'll put some pictures of the interior in the end of the video. So you guys can see what that looks like. I put the tack uh, in, in the inside and it's wired behind it. So, you know, the just show you again around. And let me just give you a quick look down here. So, I didn't go too crazy. Uh, you know, I just kind of kept it simple um, with the theme and, uh, you know, just mainly the detail painting. Um, that like I said, this is the Hemi from the Dart and the exhaust. I just made the exhaust uh shorter, uh, you know, to just dump down. Um, you know, this this car, it's just meant to be uh, a, you know, a track car and to be, you know, all business. So, you know, that's that's what's my intent. Um, the uh. The time I, I I did spend some time uh, detailing uh, under the hood, and uh, let me just bear with me as I'm gonna show you guys a little bit here. Yeah. So, like I said, this is the uh, the Hemi from the Dart. So I just kept it, you know, uh, the I I kept the. Uh, um the original colors as it will be in back in on um, you know the uh late uh, 60s uh with the uh Mopar orange and the flat black uh valve covers uh I also the uh, wired and plumbed it uh these uh these detailed the uh, carburetors are the resin ones from fireball model works and i just these are the first carburetors i mean the first you know uh a motor that i muscle car motor that i actually did linkages and i did all this detail work to it so i'm pretty proud of it i i think it it came out good it was just it w wasn't easy. I mean the filters are scratch built. Uh, you know uh, the linkages. Uh, 
you know, it was just trial and error, just trying. I had some reference picks that I was just trying to follow. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty, pretty proud of the engine and um, that uh, the radiator cap is, is photo edge piece. So the uh, the master cylinder is, uh, you know, also uh, plumbed. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed the uh, dipstick. There's a little dipstick. I made a dipstick. It's right in there. Right around there. So, made the dipstick. So, you know, um, I'm pretty happy with the build. Uh, you know, it, it does have its imperfections in the, in, in the paint and whatnot. Um, you know, at the end of the day, um, you know, I, I, I wanted, I was tempted to either, uh, you know, strip it, but then I, I, I wouldn't have never finished it, uh, or even, um, weather it. But, you know, I just live with the, the imperfections on the paint and polished it up and I just, um, uh, and this was just, um, some, some stuff that happened after, you know, I polished it where I rubbed through and stuff like that. So I just ended up touching up those areas. And so overall, it still doesn't, I'm still happy with it. And I, I, I still think the car looks good. So, you know, just want to give you guys a, um, you know, a, a final on it. Um, so, I uh, also wanted to say, uh, you know, thank you for everyone who, uh, uh, commented on the last, uh, video, uh, and, um, you know, with the four cars, I, I'm sorry, I, I, I just haven't had a chance to, um, reply to the comments, but I appreciate it. And, uh, you know, so this, this will be it, uh, for this one. Um, if you guys are interested, um, you know, uh, maybe want to join the next year's, uh, buddy build that we do, same kit build, uh, I'll keep you guys posted on that when, when, uh, we de get all the details set. So, uh, with that said, uh, you know, thanks a lot and, uh, see you on the next one. Uh, thanks for watching.